Sunny is back with a look at your health check. Hey, good morning. So early risers, which is probably everyone yep. watching right now, uh, pass this info on to the night owls, would you? A new study in the journal Sleep finds there are fundamental differences in brain function between the two groups. And night owls may actually have impaired function during regular workday hours. Really? Well, researchers think those who are naturally more productive at night should not have to adjust the nine to five routine. They want to encourage society as a whole really to just be more flexible. Okay, how many push-ups can you do in a row? Apparently, the more you can do, the healthier your heart. A researcher at the Harvard School of Public Health said, 40. men who can do more than 40, you can do 40, Ron? No, Greg's <laughs> doing it right now. Uh, consecutively, <clears throat> by the way, are at a 96% Eight. reduced risk of heart attack, heart disease, or stroke compared to men who could do less than 10. You're at 12, Greg. I'm at 38. Really? No, you're not. I mean, nah. You lie. Look at that. Not 40. even breaking a sweat. That I'm makeup is. He was at 15. You keep 42. going. Let's see if we can get 100. <laughs> 43. 56. <laughs> Woo, 62. Woo! All right. Good job, Greg. Man. I'm impressed. Uh, all right. So, moving right along, researchers at the University of Montreal say our hands likely cannot spread the human papilloma virus. They studied hundreds of same-sex couples and found that the spread of the HPV virus was never attributed to contact by hand. Now, they're not saying that it's not possible, but they didn't see it even once in their study. And coming up tonight at 10, we are talking about a type of cancer that affects about 6,000 women each year. One factor that can lead to this specific cancer is HPV, which really has no symptoms. A lot of women are pretty much too shy to talk openly about this, except for one lady who wrote me a Facebook message that really caught my attention. I have the opportunity to speak my story and make it known, and hopefully at least one person, if they're having those symptoms, will go get it checked. Mm. So of course we're gonna talk more about this tonight at 10 o'clock. Look, if there is a woman in your life who you love dearly, you got to watch this story. Mm -hmm. And we talk about teenagers and when they should get vaccinated. That's a parent's choice. Doctors encourage it. And now young boys are also getting vaccinated. Oh, yeah, as I've read. Yes. So, yeah, it's it's a it's a pretty complex. Uh, it's a pretty complex issue. I look forward to watching it. 10 o'clock. Thanks, Sonia. Yes.